Hi there everyone, uh, in this tutorial we're going to quickly look at how we can make text rotate in 3D space in After Effects. What you can see right now is that I have a um, project with no compositions in it, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the new composition button and we'll see here that I have um, background color of black. In this instance I'm going to set it to white. Um, I have my standard HDTV settings and I have a duration of 10 seconds. That's really good. I just need to give my composition a name which I will call 3D Text Rotate. And let's just clean up that little dude there. There we go. Awesome. So here's our space. In this I'm just going to grab the text tool and I'm going to um, type out a word and for my case I'm just going to use the software, use the name of the software that we're looking at here and so I will put in After Effects. Now I'm still in Caslon Pro here from a previous video and this kind of feels a little bit too old worldy for me at the moment so I'm going to go up to um, not Arial, where is it? Avenir next um, and I'm not going to go for the ultralight but I'll go for heavy and let's just get that so Right, so there's our word. If I select on the text box, we see that straight away I have my registration point issue. And for my case, I'm going to get the pan behind tool and I am moving this to this edge here because in my first example I'm going to get After Effects the word to swing in from far away to closer to the viewer. Um, I've set that, I just need to go back now to my move tool and to make this a three dimensional object let's just put it in the top third like so is that I just need to click on this icon here and as soon as I do I get this manipulator appear which allows me to move things in only the Y, the X and the Z axis and you see that the manipulator is aligned to exactly where I had placed the um, locator with the pan behind tool. So. Let's get this and I am going to press R on the keyboard and we see that that opens up now four parameters. Just so you see that in the long version, if I come to transform, we see that we have orientation, Y rotation, X rotation I should say and Z rotation. I'm just going to press R one more time, so I just have these. The first one, orientation, it has three values and this is how it is positioned in the world. So it doesn't need to be facing us straight on, I could give it a slight tilt one way or another. There we go, we can see we can do something like that. The lower values X, Y and Z rotation then allow me to create animation over which parameter I prefer. So you can see what our potential is. There's you know a lot of fun to be had with this. Um, I'm going to just go back to the full transform list because we see here I have the reset button. So if I click on that I'm back to the beginning. But you can see also that when I reset it resets my anchor point. So let's get the anchor point, let's move that back into alignment and so here's how we create a very simple swing towards us. We'll see here that the green arrow 
I want to add, um, have, I should say, as the hinge from where we rotate so that if I get this value and we can see that as I move that, I'm getting the movement that I want. So I'm going to start from back here. I'm going to click on the little clock symbol. And we can see that because my playhead's at the very beginning, my first keyframe is right at the beginning. I'm just going to once again give myself a little bit of head space so that I'm starting here. And let's say that in about a second, I'm going to get that and I'm going to swing it slightly forward. And then I will come along a bit further and I will swing back a little bit less and a little bit closer. Let's just go to about there. And then finally, I'll set that to zero. I'll just type it in zero. So now, if I come to my end of my preview area and I start to play, And that's moving okay. I think the timing's a little bit loose and sloppy. I might get these keyframes and move them in a bit closer. And then I'm going to get the whole lot. And I'm doing that trick of holding down the option key and clicking and dragging. And that allows me to change the scale of all the keyframes, including the spaces in between. So now we should have, and that's how you rotate text in 3D and After Effects.